Hey everybody, Dom here, and today I'm going to explain how to make Hearthstone look nicer by changing graphics card settings to add anti-aliasing. This tutorial is specific to Windows computers and NVIDIA graphics cards, but the information found here can more or less be transferred over to other hardware and even other video games. First things first, how to get to the graphics card settings. This process varies greatly between computers, so explained in the most general way, go to the control panel, and then to your graphics card. Then go to Manage 3D Settings, or Equivalent Location. From here there's a drop down list of games. Select Hearthstone. If it's not on the list, click Add and add it to the list. Now that Hearthstone is selected, scroll down the list of settings. Change the settings so that the anti-aliasing settings here overrides the games. Then set the anti-aliasing value and accept. Here's how the game looks like by default with no anti-aliasing. The image on the left is basically the same as the image on the right, but zoomed in 400%. Two things to note here. One. Over the next few minutes, image comparisons will be shown of the various possible anti-aliasing settings, so feel free to quickly rewind and fast forward to quickly compare images. 2. Since this is a video, there's some loss in quality of the images. Therefore, they will be available alongside this video and loss of quality. In the meantime, watch the video in 1080p. Anyways, the main thing to notice about what's on screen is a long rigid edge of the card on the left. Here's how the game looks like with FXAA, or Fast Approximate Anti-Aliasing. This is the least resource intensive anti-aliasing setting. The downside of using the setting over edge anti-aliasing is that it blurs the entire screen a little bit. The blur can be seen most notably on the claws on the portrait. To better see the difference, compare this image to the next and the previous image. Here's how the game looks with 2 times anti-aliasing. Here's how the game looks with 8 times coverage sampling anti-aliasing. This is about a mid setting on the spectrum of least to most anti-aliasing. Now here's how the game looks with 16 times quality coverage sampling anti-aliasing. This is the highest setting available on this graphics card. Now for no reason whatsoever, let's look at how the game looks like with max anti-aliasing and fast approximate anti-aliasing enabled. Once again, this setting blurs the image. With regular maximum anti-aliasing, it's basically overkill at this point. Don't enable FXAA alongside other anti-aliasing, it's just pointless. Now that the spectrum of anti-aliasing settings have been shown, it's time to pick one to use. Use trial and error to pick one that's best for you. Remember, the higher the setting, the more resource intensive the game will be. If there are frame rate problems or stutter, lower the anti-aliasing. If the computer in question has to run the game on medium or low to even be playable, anti-aliasing altogether is probably out of the question. And that's about it for this guide slash tutorial. Now go forth with your newfound knowledge and enjoy a nicer looking Hearthstone. Thanks for watching. Like if you enjoyed or learned something new, and subscribe for more videos like this one. Au revoir.